So for this video, I have something of a treat. In the previous video, I uh, mentioned and kind of showed a little bit of what I thought could be a replacement for the uh, existing ski system. And sure enough, it is. Um, and after spending a pretty long day yesterday, really trying to brute force my way into getting the walking system to work, um, we've come to a pretty much near complete ski system. Um, I'll just walk down uh, the list of some changes and you'll have to forgive my logic and English because my brain is completely fried from yesterday but the disclaimer out of the way uh, what's going on here is walking around works as you would expect it is no, nothing different um, when you come in and you're over speeding ie you're going faster than you should be you now slide to a stop and you also have control while you're sliding so you can direct your movement Skiing is based off of the same, or it is the same behavior as the sliding to a stop. The only difference is, is that the stopping friction is no longer present. And so you'll just ski until you ski, like run out of ski. Uh, gravity, you know, if you're going up a slope or something, gravity will stop you eventually. But you, the whole point, you know, it's skiing, as you'd expect it. Um, so the other thing that's going on here, I'm probably blowing somebody's mind doing some of this movement that you're seeing is I've made it to where friction it doesn't turn on at the moment your feet touch the ground it turns on it, it kind of it builds up over a very short period of time and what this allows you to do is the kind of quake style bunny hops to maintain speed and this is good specifically indoors because it means you don't actually have to rely on the ski button which in a lot of cases for close quarters movement, it's too too awkward. There's too many things going on. Instead, what works better or tends to work better is uh, just continuous jumps or something of that nature in a very tight space where you're expected to move around a bunch. Because you that way you can just if you need to slow down, you just don't jump the next on the next jump. Then you see there we go. And I'm just using the lateral jets as well here. There's no acceleration or anything like that. All I'm doing is I'm pressing down the lateral jet button while I go. Oh, and I suppose the other thing, I, I, this is a near feature complete version of skiing. There are some things that aren't in. Um, when you're skiing, the lateral jets no, are not working at the moment. Um, you also, what is it? Uh, there, there are issues at high speeds. Specifically, they seem to present themselves on terrain. I have a feeling that they'll present themselves otherwhere, uh, in other places is you or rather on terrain at high speeds it can be like you'll just be going along really quick and then suddenly it'll feel like you you well it won't even feel like you, you'll you'll face plant into the dirt effectively you'll take a ton of impact damage for no reason and a lot of the time it's so much impact damage that you'll die um so it's a bug that i'm gonna try and hunt down um but uh we'll see how that goes but it's one of those things that exists for now. Anyhow, otherwise, this is, I mean, you're just watching me kind of dick around and defrag on deck. Hopefully, it's kind of nice to watch. Because um, it's one of those things where everybody else really just needs to feel it out. I will say this is actually a very important milestone for the project, uh, having skiing in such a complete state. Uh, once it is complete, or it, it will mark pretty much most of the coding as being done. Uh, aside from adding things of that, na that nature, the gameplay itself, the mechanics and such, are pretty much in. Uh, from here on out, it, it, it'll be more like... Uh, well, once, once everything's fine-tuned, it'll be more like uh, a lot more work on game types and weapons and... Of things of that nature the menus and such but for now this is working pretty damn well and it has solved a lot of my net code problems to the point where i'm going to focus on the net code from net here on out and i want to get it working uh better than before uh, I, I said in the previous tech demo that the net code wasn't complete there were some old bits and i want to update those old bits um, so hopefully the next tech demo will have new skiing and I'm hoping that people will be able to play better people with high pings and such that were, weren't able to play before. So hopefully a wider test. Otherwise, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can of course post them on the YouTube comments page or the game forums. That's it and hope to see you in the next tech demo.